nearly done. I'm hoping for the Christmas will bring me a top notch gracer. <laughs> I love this little gracer, but seriously, I think it's about time I had something a little bit better. Okay, so what am I making, everyone? I'm still doing Christmas stuff. So um, I'm making sort of a plum chutney, plum and brandy apple and orange and spices. So that's what's going in here. So uh, in there I've got a uh, brown me apple cut up, uh, brown me apple grated, because I like to mix up the textures, red chilli, star anise, orange zest, onion, um, a little bit of cider vinegar has gone in there. I'm just going to add in a splash of um, red wine vinegar. And the heat's on, I've turned up a little bit more. I'm going to simmer all this down. So instead of raisins in my plum chutney, um, I've just got plenty of uh, just cheap plums from Aldi, uh, stoned and cut them up, and I've got some black seedless grapes. So instead of raisins, I'm cooking with grapes. They will give us a very similar taste, but you know, it won't be the same as um, using raisins exactly. So um, Give that a stir around. I'm just going to pop into there a little bit of chilli and garlic salt. And then I'm going to tell you which um, spices I've got in there. I've got, uh, Stormy Nisa said, I've got some all spice. I've got a pinch of mace. A pinch of ginger I've popped in there as well. That's gone in. And um, that's cooking away beautifully. So I'm going to bring that right up to heat there. And then I might add a little bit of water if it needs it. But for the minute, that's it. Let it come up to the heat, reduce the heat, let it simmer, and then assess whether I need to add more liquid. I absolutely forgot to tell you, um, I grated in there some fresh ginger as well. And I've just used the last of my sweet cream gold, that two tablespoons gone in there. And also two tablespoons of port. And that's simmering now. I'm going to turn the heat right down and let it bubble away until it thickens up and the apples go soft. Oh, wow, that smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now I was going to put port in it, but I really don't think it needs it. I've, no, it doesn't, Darren. Just, the cameraman's been naughty, no port. Gonna taste them. I'll have the port. Josh, let's try a little bit. Oh, needs port. That is good. Needs port. Wow. And then the only thing I put in it, um, halfway through cooking, was this cinnamon stick here, which I'm now gonna take out <laughs> elegantly, like so. <laughs> and then I'll put in a tablespoon of tomato puree, and that is it. So, just going to transfer that into my dish here. So this is plum and apple chutney. And instead of raisins, I've used grapes. Wow, it smells so Christmassy. This is gonna be amazing with leftover meats for Chris after Christmas dinner. So as you see here also, I've already made my family's cranberry sauce. So I'm really organised this year. So we've got that for Boxing Day, or for Christmas evening, if people want a snack. Uh, they've got this fabulous chutney. And uh, yeah, I think I'm doing all right this year. Merry Christmas.